I don't know why I forgot to say it in front of my very nice new backdrop with the better lighting, but welcome to the TomCast! I'm Tom, president and dictator for life of 515comics.com. Uh, earlier today, I went to Minicon, or Minicon, or the Minicon, the little comic show that happens here in Des Moines, uh, and I took my camera along with me and I decided that I was going to do uh, a little bit of vlogging interviewing out in the real world. So I went and talked to a handful of the artists and creators who were at the show uh, and I just asked them to introduce themselves and tell me and then tell you uh, what their favorite thing about tabling at conventions was. So I'm going to go ahead and run some of those for you. And there will be links down below in the description uh, where you can find all of the people that I talked to. My name is Jet Falco, and uh, yeah, this is my table. I do the Dreamer's Echo. It's a comic I create. I uh, write, I draw, and I compose. It also has a soundtrack, so a little bit of everything there. And um, what I love most about doing con events and tabling at cons is meeting the new artists in the area. I've met so many new artists that I've never heard of before, and they always have something brand new to bring to their tables, and I just, my mind gets blown how much skill there is just within like the 25 square mile radius of, of Des Moines and this area. So it's really cool. It's really cool to be a part of a community. So yeah. Come check me out at dreamersecho.com. I wasn't sure so, you were ringing the I'm Patty, Patty, also known as Peppermint Patty. Patty. Uh, the other half of Green Unicorn Art. And um, I kind of like a lot of variety. I do some wood burning stuff. I do some bead work stuff with the little dice and little beads. Um, and I do some decoupage type stuff, which is actually what I'm working on right now. I commissioned for a raven claw switch plate. So I have my switch plates and barrettes and wood burning items and all kinds of fun stuff. And um, really any kind of fandom, you know, comics or um, superheroes or grumpy cat or any of that kind of thing. So um, fun characters that people like. Uh, my favorite part about conventions and tabling is talking to people and getting their ideas, sharing ideas, swapping ideas with other artists and talking to other artists. So it's just a really fun community. So. Hey, my name is David. Uh, David West for those who want to get formal. Um, and I can I've done art for quite some time now. Uh, this off and on, friends have said I should do something with it, so I'm trying to do more stuff with it. Um, this is the first show I've tabled at uh, Des Moines, so I've also done tables in Chicago for different conventions there, just some um, local sci-fi ones. And what I like the most about doing it, quite honestly, is just doing it, period. Um, it's being seen and meeting people and just all the positive energy that comes from being at a situation where you're a place with a lot of people of the same mind, you know, like-minded individuals, and getting to show what you have and hear what people like and, and you know, just very organic feedback you get from being in a situation like this. So, that's the most probably talking to people and actually getting out there and doing something with it. I will admit there's a small bit of artist ego when someone says, oh my god, I really like this! So, there is that, but aside from that, going out and seeing, meeting people and having fun, that's a nice way. So. I'm Andy Goodman with the Dwarven Workshop, and uh, I do wooden creations, um, anywhere from tables to craft tables to small things like quick marks and uh, bottle openers and cheese boards. I guess the thing I like about cons are I like talking to the people. I like when I have time to interact with the, the people coming to the cons. And that way, I like to be able to talk and communicate, and let them see why they like the product or stuff I create and see how I can make something different for the next round. 
Hi, uh, Michael Command, a uh, comic artist. Uh, I'm currently working on a book called U.S. Assassin uh, for Arcana Comics with writer Mark Colton. Um, here with prints and doing sketches. Uh, best thing about a convention is you get to meet lots of people, you get to get new fans, and a lot of times you get really unique uh, requests for sketches. Um, I've drawn Elmer Fudd as Judge Dredd. Um, I have drawn Snoopy as uh, Deadpool. And uh, reenacted the Ghostbusters scene with the uh, Statue of Liberty but using Muppets. So you never know what you're going to get from people. And that's the fun part. It keeps me on my toes. I'm Ducky. I draw things and then sell things. And my favorite thing is actually kids in costumes. It's really cute. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. uh, we're Victory Comics, and our comic is called Knocking on the Sky. We are here at um, Midnight Con here in 2017. Yeah. And so, what we like best about tabling? Um, the thing that I like most about tabling is um, basically when you're at a con, you know, there's a lot of things to do and lots of people to see. And when you're sitting here at the table, it's like everything kind of comes to you. So you get to be right here, sort of in the middle of you know all these people with all this great work going on, and you see really everything from where you're sitting at. And all the people kind of come to you as you're you know, sitting here, so you kind of get to see the whole con from where you're at. Yeah. I think that my my favorite part about tabling is actually getting to interact with fans, people that read your work and enjoy it. There's a lot of energy there, and when you're a lone artist, you know, working in your studio, you see your own work every day. But seeing it through the eyes of somebody who's you know just experienced it is so valuable, and you get to see that at a table like nowhere else. Ta -ta! Ta -ta! Hi kids, um, this is Dean Sturman from Green and Corner. I'm here at the Fantastic uh, Minicon, being fantastic. Um, I am a master of Sharpie food. Um, I do shows all around um, Iowa, and so I enjoy what I do. I enjoy cultivating a spirit of awesomeness. I enjoy uh, helping people be awesome, and I like making the world a better place. I'm essentially a superhero. So yeah, it was super cool. It was really fun uh, to talk to people about that. I mean, a lot of those people are people that I've been friends with for a long time and that I've seen at shows for a long time. And some of them were people that I just met today. And very many of them had that same kind of attitude of like, it's just really neat to meet people and talk with people. If you haven't gone to a convention and tabled, but you've just gone as like a person walking around, I think it's useful to know that we want to talk to you. People at tables, they want to talk to you and learn about what it is that you're there doing and learn about what it is that you're interested in. Not just so that we can find out if you're interested in something we have to offer, but also just to kind of learn about like what people who come to shows are interested in. Uh, it is a social experience uh, going to a show and uh, yeah, it's super fun to get to interact with people. So. It was interesting to hear so many people talk about that, uh, and it was a lot of fun talking to the people I did. If I didn't talk to you, if you saw me at the show wandering around with my video camera and asking people questions, sorry that I didn't talk to all of you, uh, but, uh, but yeah, definitely uh, if you're watching this and you're like, hey, why don't you ask me a question? Uh, I mean, you know, hit me up and, and I will next time. And I just wanted to say thank you to everybody who has reached out uh, to me uh, from the last video. It's really nice to hear from you guys. Uh, you know, sometimes I do feel like when I do the TomCast, I'm sort of like spitting into the void. Um, it's nice to know that some of you are out there listening, uh, and it was very nice uh, to hear from you and get some thoughts from you about that subject. I really do appreciate the feedback, guys. Uh, it, it makes me happy to know that you're out there and you're listening. Um, so, all right, I'll go ahead and cut it off there so it doesn't get too long. Uh, thanks, as always, for watching, and you keep your stick on the ice.